And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell. Today we're taking a look at a game called Monster Empire. Now what's really interesting is when I saw this game, I had no idea what kind of game it was. It looked like it was a game about logos for monsters, zombies, ghosts, vampire, etc. But it's not. It's actually about a monster island. The back is probably a little bit better where it shows these and you're going to fight monsters as different heroes. You're a bunch of, you know, heroes going out to find monsters, hunt them down and take them out. This game is a game which was translated from uh, Chinese here to English and it I can only speak one language myself with various small degrees of other languages so I, I cannot necessarily I, I do not wish to mock but there is definitely this is one of the worst translations to a game I've ever seen and the point where it's hilariously so so for example uh, the opening story is, while Magician Folgun have been stroking his beard and indulging in his mind, since when have many adventurers gathered on Gandor continent? His favorite shop, which is the Bar of Aaron, today's is also crowded with passionate adventures. There is a warrior, a priest, a wizard, and a thief who has eyes like a razor. There are also, there are all those who are gathered here together, seeking alcohol and information of this continent. And there's like descriptions of the monsters in the back and it is just a lot of fun to read them. Even, for example, here it says, decide players to take the first turn with a scissors. I'm assuming that means rock, paper, scissors. And so I think I got the rules right from this as I went through it because the game is not that difficult, but keep that in mind. With that being said, let's jump into the game. In this game, monsters are going to be placed in various spots on the, there's six different things, red volcano, white mountain, blue labyrinth, purple forest, green island, or yellow desert. Each of these monsters has a power, this one's a 20, the salamander, and the amount of treasure tokens which you're going to place down by them. So there's seven treasure tokens, while the goblin has a three power and two treasure tokens. The golem here has a 14 power and five treasure tokens. Now, the goal of this game is to get one of each of the different jewels that are in the game. There's six different jewels, and so you want to get all the different colors. Once you do that, you will win. So, one player is going to be chosen to go first, and each player is going to, when it's your turn, you're going to pick which one you want to go to. So, let's say I decide to go to the blue labyrinth. I'm going to fight the zombie. You then must say three things about the monster you're going to fight. So, I might say it's gigantic. It's alive and it eats human flesh. Now, one of the things I say must be true. Obviously, two things I said were a lie in this case, but the players don't know which one I picked. Then everyone's going to take their pawn and at the same time, they're going to go to various locations. So, once everyone goes to location, we look at the number of treasures. There's two treasures here and two people join me, so there's three of us total. So, guess what? Automatically, nothing happens because we picked more people than there were treasures. But let's say only one person came to help me fight. At that point, each of us is gonna roll this die, which has a one, two, three, four, five, and star on it. And each of us is gonna roll these and add them together. So I roll a one, and the next person rolls a one. We lose. If you lose, each player must take a chip from the chips they have and put it face down on the zombies pile, so making them more useful. If we won, the person whose turn it is will take the chips there, pick one to keep, and then the rest are randomly given out to everyone else who came out and fought. So players are trying to roll these dice. Now the star, by the way, is a critical hit, so that's a pretty handy thing to roll. That counts as 12. So you have one through five, and then a 12. You're gonna probably need some of those 12s if you're gonna be trying to take down the dragon, or you're gonna need a lot of players. Once a monster's been defeated, you can pick a new monster to come on board from the monsters who are left and bring out more chips from the bag. You will keep doing this, going around and around until one person gets the six chips they need to win. There's a couple special chips. There's a horn which can bring everyone to the same spot. You get weapons. This is basically just a number that's added to your roll whenever you're in a fight. These can be found as you go through them too. That's pretty much the game. So the game has some pretty good artwork in it. You know, you look at these, there are two pieces put together, the Salamander, and they stand up pretty well. You know, here's the, the Centaur here, which has two bottom pieces, and 
you know, it's pretty easy to see how much they have. I like the artwork for this game. The bag is a nice bag. The tokens are okay, you know. They're not thick tokens, but the whole thing's okay. The board, this castle's totally unnecessary. The pawns are a little boring, but the artwork on the board looks nice. The worst problem, of course, is the rule book, as I mentioned at the beginning. The translation is just not very good at all, although it is hilarious to read. And they tell you a little bit here about each of these. The rules are okay, although they have a lot of rules about what you can or cannot say for lies about monsters and the location, almost at a point where that almost seems as a perfluous part of the game. Uh, I know it's kind of important, and I still think it's weird that what's on the cover doesn't match what's in the game at all. This is not the kind of game you would expect to find in this box. Okay, so taking out the translation issues of the rule book and all this side, gameplay's okay. You're just gonna all, you're gonna try to get, so it's kind of like, I want people to join me to help fight this monster. I don't want too many people. I want enough people to beat the monster, but I want few enough people that there's a lot of treasures to split. So I'm gonna give a clue. So I need to give a clues that some people will guess that they know it's there and other people won't guess. It's just very ambiguous. I mean, I could say all three things true. It's gigantic, it breathes fire. It's another word for um, worm. You know, oh, okay, it's a dragon. Everyone knows that's true at this point in time. But, so you wanna give less obvious clues maybe? But then maybe not enough people come and help you fight it? What? And then even when people come to help you fight it, that die rolling is crazy. It's one through five or 12. So there's a huge amount of randomness there. You could easily lose to monsters. You could easily beat monsters, all depending on what is rolled. People will go to the right spot or not, basically guessing where you're trying to go because from the clues, it's usually down to three or four monsters on the board, so you're just guessing. The fact is this game is just one big bundle of randomness. It has kind of an interesting look to it. It doesn't look like a lot of other games. It has that cool old-timey monster artwork. And like I said, the translation gave me great humor when I read through them because it was very unintentionally, I'm sure, funny as you go through them. But the game itself about collecting stuff, the weapons which are pointless, a plus one, wow, woohoo! That doesn't do anything for you. The horn where you can call everybody in, yay! Can I just have the color of the jewel I didn't get? It's okay at best. It's just really not that great of a game. And the cover looking different than the game doesn't help at all. Also, this box doesn't need to be that big. Monster Empire, the name doesn't even make any sense. So, it feels like a good idea, but the good idea doesn't translate into an excellent game. So I really can't recommend Monster Empire. Dice Tower of Judgment, huh? Sounds fun, but it's not. <laughs>